Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you some basic functions when you are working with objects in 3D Studio Max. I am talking about move, rotate and scale objects. Scale means change the size of the object. Before start, you should have a previous knowledge about the generalities of 3D, rendering methods and how to navigate the scene. For this you can check my other tutorials on the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. First, as you know, the three dimensions in 3D Studio Max are defined by the Cartesian system. This system divides the space in three axes X, Y, and Z. And using this axis is how the program express the position, rotation and the scale or size of each object in the scene. In the left bottom corner of each viewport, you can find some lines. These lines represent the positive part of each axis. Like in the perspective viewport, the positive part of the x-axis is on red, the positive part of the y-axis is on green and the positive part of the z-axis is on blue. When you rotate the view, this coordinate system also rotates. This works like a reference to know your direction in a scene space. The same lines exist too in the other views, like in the top viewport. In this viewport you only can see the x and the y-axis. Because, this viewport is on 2D and not in 3D. In the left viewport. You can see the Y and the Z axis, and in the front view port, appears the X and the Z axis. In the main toolbar we found the buttons that help us to move objects, rotate the objects, and to scale the objects. Scale means change the size of an object. Let's see how it works. Well, to move an object, it is pretty simple. First select the object clicking on it. Then, left click on the button move in the main toolbar. Note that this button remains down and that is a yellow background. And in the object appears this three concentric arrows, this is called pivot. The arrows is the same color of the positive parts of the axis. Red for the positive X, green for the positive Y and blue for the positive Z. If you move the mouse over the red arrow, and click and hold it down. When you move the mouse, you drag the object over the X axis. Like this. To end it, release the left mouse button. To change the position of the sphere in the y-axis, do the same. Move the mouse over the green arrow. And click and hold it down, and move the mouse. And drag the sphere to where you want to. This works the same way, with the z-axis, just moves the mouse over the blue arrow, click and hold it down, and move the mouse. And drag the object. To drop it, just release the left mouse button. Note, that when you move the object in the perspective viewport, also changes its position in the other viewports. If you want to move several objects at once, just select all the objects that you want to move. Note that the pivot appears in a middle point between the selected objects, and moves the objects. Click on an arrow, hold it down, and move the mouse. And release the left mouse button to end it. But, here exist more possibilities. Between the arrows in those squares. See. If you click and hold it down, on these squares, you can move the object in two axes, two dimensions at once. Like this. Now I am dragging the object in the X and Y axis, in the XY plane, at the same time. Now with the other, the YZ plane, just move over the square, between the Y and Z axis, left click, hold it down, and move the mouse, OK. To end just release the left mouse button. And the XZ plane, again moves it over the square between the X and Z axis, left click and hold it down, and move the mouse. Works in the same way to move multiple objects, just select all the objects, and over the square make left click, hold it down, and move the mouse to drag the objects to the new position. And to end it, release the left mouse button. Well, this works pretty good for artistical results, but if you need move an object to an exact position in the space. To move an object to an exact position, right click on the button move in the main toolbar, and... This window appears, here you can indicate the exact position using the coordinates X, Y and Z, for example. For move this, to the point 0, 0, 0. Type this, X equals 0, Y equals 0 and Z equals 0. And there it is. But underground, so, in the Z, that controls the vertical position, click here and hold it down, then move up or down to change the value in the position. Now change this to 20. Left click here, and type in the keyboard 20 and enter. In the same way, you can change this other values. If you move the object using the arrows, this window shows you the actual position coordinates of the selected object, C. And selecting another object, this values changes. And close this window. Note, that when you select any object the pivot appears, if you want to make the pivot disappear, left click on the button select. 
in the main toolbar. Now, when you select any object, the pivot does not shows up. Now, to rotate an object, first select the object, and click the button rotate in the main toolbar, so, appear this three rings, and a small coordinate system also appears, indicating the pivot of the object, in other words, the object rotates around this point. If you click and hold it down, over the red ring, you can rotate the object around the x-axis. Note, but while you are rotating the object appears the info about how many degrees was you rotate the object and in what axis, starting at the point over the ring where you did click. And to end it, release the left mouse button. This works in the same way, to rotate in other directions, for example around the z-axis. Click over the blue ring, hold it down, and move the mouse. And rotate it however you like. C. There is another thing, while you rotate, appears this shadow like a piece of pie in this tiny arrow indicating the direction of rotation and how much was you rotate the object. And in the same way, to rotate around the y-axis, just moves the mouse over the green ring, left click, hold down, and moves the mouse as you want. And it is ready. If, you click not over the rings, but somewhere between those. You can rotate in all directions, freely. Like this. And if you click on this gray ring, you can tilt the object respect the viewport. This way. But now, the object doesn't teeth at the ground, so, to rotate at an exact angle. Right click in the button rotate at the main toolbar. So, this window shows up. And like in the window for move, you can indicate the exact degree of rotation that you want around each axis. For example to restore the initial position. Change it for zeros. Just click and type in the keyboard zero and enter. And again. And here too. Well. Remember that the values must express on degrees. So, to rotate 90 degrees around the z-axis, type here 90 and press enter. And it is ready. But ups. Wrong direction, no problem. Click here and hold it down. Move the mouse up or down to change the value, and when it's close to the rotation direction what you want, release the mouse button, and change this value, to a close value. 30 and enter. And to scale an object, as we do with before. Select the object, left click in the button scale in the main toolbar, and in the object appears this three lines connected by triangles. If you click and hold down, in the center of those, when you move the mouse the size of the object change in the same proportion in all directions. Like this. C. To end it, as always, release the left mouse button. But if you click over the lines and hold it, you can change the size of the object only along that axis. For example, clicking in the X line. The red one, and hold down, the object is long. And now is short. And over the Y axis, the green line. Now is wide. And now is narrow. And clicking Z line, the blue one, now is tall. And now is small. You can also scale from here, between the axis. To resist the object in multiple directions at once. Like this. Just click, hold it down, and move the mouse. Exist other option to scale the objects. Click in the button scale and hold it down, and it shows this options. Choose the second, non-uniform scale. This is pretty similar to the previous option, but the difference is that scales the object not in the same proportion. And the third option to scale an object is Select and Squash. This allows to resist the object in multiple direction at the same time. Like this. To scale an object in exact proportion, right click in the button scale in the main toolbar. And this window appears, here you can change the proportion of the current size of the objects. Now, all are in 100. If you change the X to 50, the object reduces the X size to the half. And changing the Z to 200, the object is now two times the height. This is to change the proportion, not to indicate the new size. So, when we talk of 50. Is 50% of the original size of the object, not 50 meters or inches or centimeters or the unit that 3D Studio Max is handling.